As long as you have these kind of wants, wants the habit of wanting something, wanting, and especially like wanting something to make you happy, is a sure way to be miserable. That happiness is placed outside. That a relationship, or you know, being in the right job, or or passing whatever things you have to pass through, will bring you to this place. It's already ill-conceived notion. Ill-conceived notion. Happiness. Even I want to say to you, like in this, in the light of your own listening here, and then you say, now also I'm. No, I don't know what I want. Then allow this complete access. Don't know what you want. Why well, you should want something? Can you be without want? Is it a state of deficiency or something? Have you ever heard of amongst your own masters you talk about? Can they be in a place of want and be happy? Not at all. They abandon all of this stuff. They are not in want. No need. But it does not mean that without need, without wants, that their life stops. Somehow, natural unfolding is taking place, and it is enough. They are content, beautifully content. They are not working for happiness. What a great spaciousness to not want. But I do want, I think. No, that's different. I, I want, I think. What do you want? Or do you think you should want? Because that's what your statements say. No, I'll stick to I don't know what I want. Right. And this don't know yes. um, affects. But the very fact you say, I don't know what I want, means you don't want. I don't know what I want, means that what you want doesn't exist. It's because I'm confused. And then that leads to confusion. You see, and one friend was stuck. coming to the house, and he was always saying, "You know, I have this problem. I have this problem. You know, I have this problem and this problem and problem, problem." He came and stayed with me for a few days, and we talked. And then one morning he came. We we're having tea, and I, I looked at him. I says, "Okay, you know, what's the problem now?" I, can, I look at him. Uh, says, "Muji, I have this problem. What is the problem?" Well, the problem is. I can't find a problem. <laughs> it's true, some of the people here know him. My problem is I can't find a problem. And it bothers me, I can't find a problem. <laughs> You're saying, you know, I, my trouble is I don't know what I want. So if you don't know what you want, what, what is the purpose of want? Except that there's a feeling that I should want something. Everybody else have a want, or you may substitute the word want for dream. Everyone have a dream, I want a dream, or it seems as though. But there are many people who don't have dreams, as in projecting some state that will be beautiful or something. For one moment, just for one moment here with me, then you don't touch this idea of wanting something or that not wanting it is a problem. Because if you want something, you are molested by it. Listen to what Ramana Maharshi said. Something I think might be useful for you. He says, Suppose you want this microphone. You have always wanted So even though you are talking to me, you are really just interested in the microphone. <laughs> okay? You want this microphone so bad, because you think it is going to make you happy. Okay? So, as long as you want it, as long as you want this thing, you are never really available for anything else. Every time you are talking, everybody, you know, it's really just this you want. I just want this microphone, you know. Okay, you cannot get your your mind is focused only on satisfying your desire. But there is no joy in the microphone. You feel if you get it, you'll be so happy. But there's no happiness in the microphone. Just you feel if I get this thing, I'll be happy. Here is what he says about it, and I found it fascinating. No, he says, as long as you have a desire, you are being tormented by this desire. Why? Because if you don't get it, you're miserable. All your energy is is just waiting to try and fulfil your desire. 
So I give you the microphone. When you get the microphone, you get your desire. In this moment, this thing is given to you, the object you desire. You feel tremendous happiness. But the thing didn't give you the happiness. So he says this. There is no happiness in the thing. What happens is that your desires were molesting you. It was troubling you, agitating your mind. When you get the thing now, okay, the agitation stops. And it is the relief from the agitation that you are interpreting as the joy you are receiving. You think this thing is giving you happiness, you get it. Oh, I feel so good, huh? Because you are enjoying the freedom from the desire to have it. Because now you have, you have it. But this thing has nothing in it. Not one vitamin in it. <laughs> but you are just, oh my God, oh my God. But all of this comes from you.